Hi, I'm Margaret Lewin and welcome to Margaret Lewin Quilting. Today we are going to be working on block four of the, and let me get to the cover of the book. Today we're going to be working on block four of our summer moon block of the month. Now this is the second month that we've been working on this quilt. Today we are going to be making the block which is called capital T block. For this block it calls for four different colors of fabric, a background, and then three prints. And what it is made up of is half square triangles and flying geese. So it is four half square triangles on the corner, a solid block in the middle, and then two flying geese in the center in between each half square triangle. So that's what we're going to work on today. I have all of my pieces set up. I've got my first pieces. These are my um, half square triangle blocks. I've got these with my line drawn in the center. I think you can see. I'm going to sew a quarter of an inch on each side and remember it's a scant quarter of an inch that I'm going to be sewing. I am going to press my seams open. It's something that I'm finding is really helping with these blocks. And then I'm going to start working on my flying geese. Now my flying geese are squares. We are drawing a line diagonally in the center and we're going to be attaching these to our background fabric. I'm going to work on my largest block first, then I'm going to work my way down. Depending upon how the largest block goes, I may start working on all three at once. I'm not sure. Remember, we have an eight, a five and a half, I'm sorry, an eight, a six and a half, and then a five inch square. So consequently, we are working with very, very tiny pieces. I haven't drawn my line on the back of these yet or on the back of these. Whoops, let's give you a back. Where's a back? There's a back. I haven't drew, drawn them on the back of this one either. So I'm going to first start with these. I'll get them pressed. Come on back and give me an update as to how I'm doing, okay? All right, let's try this again. This is my fourth time filming this little bit of camera issues here and there. Anyhow, I have sewn half of my flying geese. I sewed them and pressed the seams open. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the second square to the opposite side and I'll just sew right up. But I do want to show you exactly where it is that I'm show sewing because I'm not sewing where they told me to. Let's see if I can get this to focus. There we go. Here's the line. I'm not sewing on the line. I'm sewing right here next to the line. So I'll watch my needle drop in right here all the way down. I'm going to do that to all four of these. I will press the seams open again and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. More than likely, the second set of geese, I will um, do those off camera. But I wanted to show you how I was going to do these. I'll be right back. All right, so here is my block ready to be put together. I have got my flying geese all done, my half square triangles, and then my center square. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sew my two flying geese together right down there, just a plain basic quarter inch seam. Then I will again press my seams open. Then once I've done that, I will attach them in rows, three rows, and then I'll just put the three rows together. So I'm gonna do that. I will come back as soon as I've got it put together and show you exactly how I did it and show you the finished block and how I pressed it. So far, so good. This is my largest of the three blocks, my eight inch block. I still have my, um, what is it? Six and a half and my five inch to go. But this is my eight inch. I feel really comfortable with it. So I'm anxious to get on and work on the other two blocks. I'll be back as soon as I have this block done. 
and then again once I have all of them done. I am working away at the capital T block and I wanted to take a minute and assure you of something. When you are working on especially these pieces, the directions are great in the fact that they give you two different square up times. When you're making these, as you make this portion of the block, it does tell you exactly how to square it up. And then again, once you have put the two together, they tell you again what the square up dimension is. And I do strongly suggest that when putting the block together, you do take the time to square these up as you go along, okay? How I'm gonna finish this up, putting these together is by adding these two, then I'll add the end pieces, then I'll sew the three rows together. And I'm gonna do that on both my medium size and small size block. My large block is already completed. So I'll be back once I've done that. I have finished block number I think this is four. I'm so excited. And here they are. Here are all three of them. Um, again, I'm going to go over a couple of things I want to point out to you. The first one, you can see I did all three blocks the same. This is the, this is the first time that I've done that. I've been switching them up, and this time I decided not to. The other thing, I'm going to flip these over. I want to show you how I pressed the bulk of them. The large block and the medium block, I pressed all my seams open just like I had been doing all along. On the littlest block, I do want you to see something. On these flying geese, I did press my seams in towards the top geese. Goose, yeah, whatever, the top one. You can see it right here. In here, I've pressed them in. Then once I put the blocks together into the three blocks, I pressed those seams out and the center one in. Okay, so you can see these two are out, this one is in. Then my very last seam, I pressed those open. What I found was that pressing these open created a bump right here and we don't want any bumps especially if we're going to hand quilt it or put it on the long arm we want it to be as flat as it possibly can be so here are my three blocks get them all turned over for you so you can see them and i am obviously thrilled with how they're looking they're coming together very nicely I am taking time to square each one up as I go along, and I think that's really, really important to do. So that's what I've done here, and I do really suggest that that's something that you do. So here's some snapshots of my block along the way, and thank you so very much for joining me today, and... Don't forget to check out blocks five and six, which are our next blocks for this month. Thanks. See you soon.